Hey guys, it's Adam here, not wearing a Vlogging Life shirt, I'm wearing a Canada shirt, it's pretty friggin' awesome. And uh, today we're gonna do some comedy on comments, so sit your ass down, enjoy some comedy on comments. Roll that friggin' intro. Alright guys, our first comment here is from Bob Eats, and they say, is this going on the cock? Yes! Short pause. Lamau. Yeah bud, you made the cock. Congratulations. Fishnatic says, grudges only affect the person who holds them. Good attitude, Adam. That's the way I thought too, you know, I hold a grudge. It ain't worth my time. I got better things to do, like make videos for you guys. Big Daddy 2001 says, cats are great, but it's just plain nasty if they use the litter box and walk on your counter, the counters and tables where you prepare food or eat at. Just say it shows really no respect to the owner. Oh, dude, didn't you know, like, cats are cunts. Like, really? Like, okay, let's replace the vlogging wall with this nice little chart of every cat breed out there. Like, as you see, as you see, uh, as you see, every cat out there is a cunt. ZX 11 says, Adam, you don't have an accent. You could come to Oz and no one would know you're not from here. Oh, trust me, bud, they would friggin' know. The moment I don't talk, like... I listen to the Australians talk, you guys have a strong accent. Sometimes I really suck at it and I think Australian people are actually British. Because sometimes you sort of sound the same, but then other times you really friggin' don't. Like when Aussie Life was in Canada and he was hanging around with Bloke and they were talking together, it was like two Brits talking together, but it wasn't the case. It was, uh, yeah, they would know right away I'm, I'm, I'm a visitor. They would know. Trust me. Pugs2300 says, Ha, huh, Plasti Dip Flames would be hilarious. Do it. I'm thinking about Plasti Dip in the whole fucking car. Nate Holmes one says, What kind of music do you listen to? And what are some of your favorites? Uh, what are some of your favorite? I'm from England. We add the U in front for no fucking reason. Uh, artists and songs. Lol Big Cock. You know, I think in England you guys also put the U on color. We used to do that here in Canada too, but for some reason they stopped. I really don't understand that. It's pretty decked. But um, as far as my favorite music goes, uh, there's one band I always end up going back to, and that's Manowar. It's like fucking heavy, heavy metal. They call it heavy metal opera. There's Manowar, Nightwish, Iced Earth, uh, Wizards and Demons. They're they're pretty like it's kind of like the kind of music that a lot of people don't listen to, but I fucking love it. Metal opera. Brian Larson says. Hi Adam, it's weird you suddenly hate Pug1 because before his girlfriend or wife wrote that message on Facebook, you talk like them all the time in the older vlogs like friggin' rights and fuck yeah and all that. I said friggin' rights before Pug said friggin' rights like and fuck yeah like fuck yeah is common. So many people are like oh fuck yeah, fuck yeah that's awesome fuck yeah. It's it's, it's not Pug talk. Pug talk is saunt, daunt, shant, launt, caunt, raunt, or whatever the fuck, you know? All those stupid words he made up that just make him sound like he really took a shovel to the head and the damage never was never repaired. But, um, no, I don't, I don't like talking like him because it makes you sound kind of dumb. And if you're wondering what that noise is in the background, that's my computer. I'm rendering the vlog for today and it's fucking really giving around the fans. Like, they're going at 110 over there. It's nuts. Pool Fixer says, Adam, the trolls do what they do because they are jealous of you. They do not understand YouTube. God forbid you might get big and successful on YouTube. Yeah, I, I, I don't see myself getting big or successful on YouTube because, uh, personally, I don't play the game. I don't play the YouTube game that well. And the game I'm talking about is the clickbait game or the setting up my vlogs, like, if I were to do my vlogs properly, like how other vloggers do it, it would want to drive people in to watch them, but I just do them how I do them because I like doing them that way. But there is an actual science to YouTube, and I just think it's greasy and I don't want to be like that, so that's why I don't do it. So, as far as the tro trolls being jealous of me, they need to fucking quit. Super Fifth Gear says, it's not worth you getting a 4K camera. Get a good 1080p camcorder. They're actually better. Or they're better actually, sorry. I didn't read that right. Uh, Linus did a video on it a while ago. I wouldn't bother going any higher than 1080p 60 frames per second. And honestly, that's all I want is a 1080p 60 frames per second camera. But the camera I want is that new Panasonic 
because it has the hot shoe built in where I can hook my microphone, my uh, that big mic I have, that Task Task Star. I want to use that mic on the camera and get some real sexy audio out of it. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, for that I need a hot shoe on it. Now the Canon does have a mic input, but it doesn't have a hot shoe, and that's the stupidest thing Canon ever did. Put a simple fucking hot. Don't even put a hot shoe. Just put a a, a shoe mount on it. Something with a shoe on it that you can clip a uh, like a, like a Rhodes microphone or something onto it, so you can get a better audio. Because I always found with those Canon cameras, the video fantastic, the audio beer can. You know what I mean? Sounds like it's being played through through a beer can. It's all tinny and shit. So you need that external mic to get the pro audio to go with the pro video. Canon, smarten the fuck up. Cold Starts Daily says, Yo Adam, I've not commented for a while, but I thought I'd say I really enjoy your cooking vids, etc. You could do some more cooking ones to upload along with the vlogs, like you were talking about, uploading two a day. And I'm thinking about doing that once I get laid off. I was thinking about like going on the internet and downloading recipes. Or if you guys have some recipes you want me to try, you can always personal message them to me because I keep forgetting to check that, but I've been doing it more often lately. Uh, personal, like, literally copy and paste the uh, recipe right into a PM or whatever you call it, personal message or direct message or whatever, and fire that shit to me. Tweet it to me if you want. Send it to me as a message on Twitter if you have Twitter. And if it's something that I'm really interested in, then I'll copy it down and I'll be like, hey, so-and-so on Twitter or so-and-so on YouTube. Recommended I do this for cooking with the hobo. Today we're making blah -zy blah and then I'll bang it out. Daniel Lockwood says, put the snowblower engine on the mini bike. Actually, you know what's funny is I did mention that the Rex, I was like, dude, we should, uh, and I looked at the snowblower and he's like, no, no. And I was like, yeah, you're right. It's because that engine is freaking old and probably also on its last legs. Turtle Futta says, fake bullshit. Now, do you mean my videos are fake bullshit? If so, kudos. Anthrit says, Tommy finally made the cut into the vlogs. I bet you he's jumping for joy. Does it bother you that he made the cut into the vlogs? Like, Tommy and I talk a lot, man. It's kind of hard for him not to make the cut into the vlogs, especially on my days off, because we're either in a Google Hangout or he's Facebook calling me. So, pretty possible he's going to make the cut into the vlogs, especially once I get laid off. Easy Funshine says, I love the live streams. Is there any way for you to let us know ahead of time when you're going to have it? Um, basically, it's every Friday at 9, and that's 9 p.m. Eastern. So, on the West Coast where you are, I believe you're in Pacific Time. I believe that's 6 p.m. Pacific Time. So, 6 p.m. Pacific, Fridays. Be there. Yeah. ZX8401ZTV says, Damn, I thought Oreo had stopped doing the carpet crapping. No. But apparently it's a small dog thing, uh, or a Pomeranian thing. My buddy has a Pom, and his Pom's constantly shit in the carpet too. And he said what it is, is, like, if the dog doesn't have a spot where it feels comfortable to go for a crap, in Oreo's case, he just, he's scared of the dark, I think. That's why I got two lights on outside, and I stand outside with him so he can crap. Because he'll sit there and he'll be crapping, but he's, like, scanning the yard, looking for his, all of his enemies, which don't exist. He's such a paranoid puppy. But um, that's why he craps in the house, because it's really bright in the house, and he knows he can crap safely. And it, I guess he doesn't realize it pisses me the fuck off. Sugar Cube says, everyone keeps a PlayStation 2 in their toolbox. It's cool. This is the thing. That PlayStation 2, I have no idea if it's mine or if it belonged to my ex. I never bought a PS2 Slim. I had a PS2, like a, the regular one, the old school one with the where it was like kind of like you had the smaller base but then the top got wider you know the one that's like the older school one I've never had a PlayStation 2 mini or whatever PlayStation 2 slim or micro or whatever the freak they called that one so I don't know where it came from all I know is I got one I don't even know if things still works I should probably plug it in one day and find out but anyway people that's all we got for this episode of commenting on comments here's hoping I don't have to shoot it for a third time if I do you'll find out Thanks for watching, leave a comment down below, and until next time people, peace the frig out.